Uh, so the next concept is reference data, which is, you know, uh, it's really just master data, but they're, it's a little different from some of your big complex core domains. So um, reference data is typically just your simple list that you use to describe things. And most of your operational applications will already have uh, reference data embedded in them. Um, you know, the, the simple example, the list of languages I just used. Um, your CRM and ERP applications both might have their own list of languages that, that obviously have overlap. They probably both have the definition for uh, English as a language, but they might use different keys uh, to, to define those languages, different descriptions. Um, and so, you know, this reference data typically is simple lists that exist in multiple places um, and are referenced by multiple domains, so, so the language example uh, that I just described. So the opportunity with reference data management is to centralize and standardize these different reference lists that the organization uses uh, throughout the enterprise. Um, and so the, the easy thing to do would be to say in the language example, I'm going to get both lists of languages from my two different applications, put them in one place, and define a crosswalk so that now I can translate English from this system, its equivalent value in this other application is, is, um, is a different value, and now I can translate and crosswalk data between these applications. Uh, and, and reference data is, is typically a prerequisite for your larger, more complex domains. Um, so you can see here that there's a number of different reference data examples. Um, there are some organizations that will, will start off with MDM with just trying to tackle reference data. Uh, we have customers that have had uh, quite literally hundreds of uh, reference data lists um, that were being managed in different applications. They had different spreadsheets and utility tables uh, uh, scattered about that tried to consolidate and make sense of them. And so for those organizations, it was, it was worthwhile just to get an MDM hub in place and just tackle reference data as an initial step, and then from there they could start to tackle other key domains.